My name is Andre Horvath, and today I would like to present a project in which design development of a consumer product, that is of a self-heating baby bottle, was driven by application of fluid flow and heat transfer simulation techniques. The work was initially presented as an ANSYS webinar in 2010. Yumi Bottle is a rechargeable, BPA-free, self-warming baby bottle that warms baby's feet to the natural temperature of breast milk at the touch of a button. The Yumi Bottle design was developed by Intelligent Fluid Solutions between 2007 and 2009. It has been manufactured by Feed Me Bottles Limited and it entered the UK market in November 2009. Yumi Bottle is currently available in all major markets all over the globe. The bottle exploits the subcooled nature of sodium acetate mixture, which remains liquid below its solidification temperature. The mixture is contained inside a warming unit with channels for the milk flow on its external mantle. When the solidification process is triggered, latent heat is released. As the milk flows along the channels, it is heated to the correct temperature, that is above 32 degrees Celsius. The warmer is recharged by placing it in boiling water, a steam stellarizer or with microwaving. Geometry of the warmer channels is an important aspect of the design. It influences overall warmer performance in terms of the pressure drop in the feed flow as it defines the flow speed of the feed and of the returning air from the teeth, the feed temperature at the first drop when the flow rate is 200 milliliters per minute and the feed temperature at the steady drinking speed when the flow rate is 20 milliliters per minute. It was a technical challenge to design a warmer to heat the milk from 5 to 32 degrees Celsius for the first drop flow rate of 200 milliliters per minute and to maintain steady flow conditions. To illustrate the size of improvement required, the first warmer design experienced sluggish milk flow with the milk first drop temperature of just 70 degrees Celsius. CFD modeling techniques were used in all stages of the development process to improve the design and to significantly reduce development time and costs. All CFD analyses were performed with the ANSYS simulation software, that is with uh, ISAM CFD for mesh creation and ANSYS CFX for CFD simulations. Let's look at the problem a bit closer. Modeling fluid and heat flow in such device is challenging. There is a laminar flow of milk from the bottle to the teeth when the bottle is turned upside down. The air in the teeth is squeezed in the opposite direction of the milk flow, that is from teeth to the bottle. At the same time, the sodium acetate in the warmer undergoes solidification and generates heat. Thermal material properties of solid parts require particular attention. They define the conduction heat transfer from the warmer to the fluid flow and the solid parts. Beside that, for proper functioning of the product, and customer satisfaction, flow stability needs to be maintained. To accurately predict time-dependent heat transfer, an adequate approximation of the solidification process of the sodium acetate mixture was fundamental. Due to the subcooled state of the mixture, the solidification reaction is fast and limited only by the mixture temperature. The reaction model similar to the combustion models was developed and calibrated based on the available thermocouple readings. The diagram shows a comparison between the measurements and the CFD results for the warmer wall temperature, which decreases much faster than the temperature of the sodium acetate in the warmer. Heat transfer and pressure drop in the warmer channels were studied in detail. In order to improve the heat transfer from the warmer to the milk flow, the milk traveling time or the channel distance were maximized. 
CFD was used to analyze a number of channel designs in order to obtain a heat transfer coefficient correlation and a friction factor correlation. These correlations were then used to build an algebraic parametric model of the warmer channels. The parametric space of the warmer design was explored in terms of the channel width and height. A number of contour maps of the pressure drop, one of them is on the left, and of the temperature increase on the right, were produced to help determining the optimal channel design. The result of design optimization exercise was a zigzag channel of the specific width and height, which was then projected onto the warmer external wall. The design optimization process did take into account only single phase flow conditions. In order to prevent occurrence of slugs, that is to maintain smooth milk flow, a force balance was analyzed taking into account the negative buoyancy force, wall friction, interface drag and surface tension force. It is important that the buoyancy force is sufficiently larger than the resultant of all other forces, which resist the flow motion. Of these, the interface drag between the milk flow and the evacuating air proved to be the most significant force resisting the flow motion. To predict the warmer thermal behavior, CFD analysis was performed for the selected designs. The initial CFD simulations were conducted for steady state milk flow, taking into account the milk volume only. The figure on the left shows the temperature field in the milk for one of the assessed designs. The diagram on the right compares the milk temperature along the warmer channel for two different prototype designs at two flow rates. 200 milliliters in 10 minutes, which is the projected steady drinking flow rate, and 200 milliliters in a minute, which correspond to the milk's first drop flow rate. The initial CFD simulations did provide valuable information on the warmer thermal characteristics. They enable predicting the milk temperature at the steady drinking speed sensitivity to material properties, especially the impact of thermal conductivity, of the acetate additives and of the warmer wall. They also provided a convenient way to test the effect of the milk flow rate and of thermal boundary conditions. Nevertheless, the initial CFD simulations significantly overpredicted the milk first drop temperature due to the single phase flow representation. An accurate prediction of the first drop temperature and the pressure variation inside the channel requires multiphase CFD analysis, modeling of conjugate heat transfers through solid parts, and solidification reaction of the mixture. Using such multiphase CFD analysis, we were able to predict the first drop temperature with accuracy of 2 to 3 degrees Celsius in comparison to the experimental measurements. The validation of the multiphase CFD analysis results gave the confidence to use the developed CFD model to refine the warmer design. The animation shows the multiphase CFD simulation of the milk progressing in the channels of the warmer. Further effort was invested in the CFD modeling of the warmer recharge process, where sodium acetate is subjected to heating by hot water or steam. I would like to thank you all for your attention. I hope you found the lecture interesting. For any specific questions, please do not hesitate to contact me.